everyone and welcome to day five of yarn porn week. So <laughs> this week we just showed a bunch of different yarns all week long. Yarns that came from PremierYarns.com but are under the labels of Universal Yarns. More specifically, um, they are Fibra Natura yarns as well. Um, all these yarns are available on both Premier and um, Universal Yarns. I feel like I'm saying um a lot this week, but I'm trying to compile my thoughts together. So as a recap, I do have one final yarn I'm going to show you that I purchased that I'm not going to work up a sample before be, of because this is just a recap video. I just wanted to come back and re-show what we've what we've purchased this week. Um, I want to tell you which one is my favorite of the week. And I'm going to show you the final yarn for day five that I have I've purchased. I have I've bought this yarn in the past because when it came out, I was super excited. I'm still super excited, and I'm still trying to collect some of the colors <laughs> because I think it's so pretty. So today's yarn I gotta open is the Sweet Roll Fruits yarn. Now I have several of the Sweet Roll Fruits yarn on. I think this shelf? Uh, this shelf. <laughs> and I like, I like all the colorways. I want to make like a big fruit salad blanket or something out of these yarns. And so right now I'm just trying to get some of the colorways up. I have the dragon fruit. I have um, the pink grapefruit. I have... Uh, banana, I have blueberry, I have watermelon. I did not have the plum. <laughs> so I needed to purchase the plum. This is the Sweet Roll Fruits Plum. I love, first of all, I love plums. I like fruit. Fruit is just delicious. Um, I really like really sweet plums. They're usually like the ones with the, the really dark skin, usually the, the tastiest, in my opinion. The red ones are fine, but like I really like the dark, dark purple, almost black plums. There was a store in Michigan called Randazzle. They're still there. It's called Randazzle. And it's a big, giant fruit and vegetable market. And we would go there every... I really miss that store. They had so many exotic fruits and vegetables that you just couldn't find other places. Um, and I really miss that place. I would go in there and just get a whole bunch of plums and we would eat them on the way home. <laughs> Oh, good times. So, Sweet Roll Fruits. These are an acrylic. They are 100% acrylic. They're a medium four. They kind of are a self-striping yarn in fruity colors and patterns. And um, I like the plum one probably the best because it just is like stripes. Some of the other colorways, like the dragon fruit, has a mixture of stripes with speckles. Um, as does the banana, as does the, I think the blueberry does. They have stripes with speckles, whereas the plum, it's just stripey. It's just stripey. It's got a little bit of a speckly there, but for the most part, it's just, and when you crochet this up, this isn't gonna, like, you can crochet this up, no problem. If you don't mind hard breaks in your colors, you can crochet this up. It's not gonna be a big deal. Um, this would make really cute little uh, motifs. So if you're making a motif blanket, a granny square blanket, this would be excellent for that because it will give you like the colors as you go around. So I love all of the sweet rolls. As a matter of fact, I got sweet rolls next to me. I love the sweet rolls from Premier. They are one of my favorite of all cakes. They're the first cake yarns I've ever had, the Sweet Rolls and the former candy shop ones. But now that they have the, the fruit ones, they also have Sweet Roll DK, which I featured last week. They have, there's so many different types of Sweet Rolls. <laughs> and they're all tasty and delicious. So I had to get some of these. These are my day, my day five yarn of the week. But I'm not gonna work up a sample of these because I'm, ju I'm just not, I'm not gonna. <laughs> You guys have seen this on the channel before. You've seen the sweet rolls on the channel plenty of times. It's exactly the same as those. But I just wanted to do a quick recap on this week's yarn. Now, my yarn purchase, there is a yarn that I am not showing you because, like I said, I bought that to review with 
um, a new yarn that is going to be released from Premier Yarns very soon. I'm just waiting on them to give me the okay. The video is filmed. The video is uploaded. I'm just waiting on Premier to give me the okay to upload the video. And then after that video airs, I'm going to do a comparison side by side with this other yarn that I'm going to compare with that yarn because it's, you know, the same type of yarn. So grand total for all of this yarn that I have showed this week was with, well, no, because shipping was free. It was $78.12. I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 skeins of yarn for $78. So let's do some math. <clears throat> you can catch really good deals on Premier Yarn's website. And I always, always check the weekly deals and the clearance price because or the clearance section because it's just a good deal so if you figure if you if you added these all together including the ones that you don't see there's three balls down there um, I got 18 for $78 that's roughly around four dollars and 33 cents per ball on average so that's why I like to average it out because it makes me feel better for buying yarn that was $5.99 <laughs> Kind of all equals itself out. So, as a recap for this week, we showed Monday the Bamboo Fair. This one is probably my favorite of the week, just because I'm really into bamboo right now. I like the way it works up. I like how soft it is. I like that the temperature of the yarn stays cool. Like, and when you're working with it, it stays cool. It doesn't heat up. Like, acrylics will very much heat up when you're working with them. They will heat up. They will take the temperature of your hand and the outside temperature, and they will start to get hot when you're working them up. Bamboo stays cool. So bamboo is a wonderful thing, not only to make summer garments with, but bamboo is an amazing product to make in the summer. So it's not going to, if you're, it's laying across you, it's not going to heat your body up like acrylic would laying across your body while you crochet up maybe a big project. I also really like the colors available of the Bamboo Joy. Or the Bamboo Fair, not Bamboo Joy. Bamboo Joy has acrylic in it. <laughs> and it is thicker. So check out the Bamboo Fair. Um, and I did not, I was not a huge fan of the Cotton True until I held it together with the Metallic. And then I kind of fell in love with it. These two are just meant to go together. So definitely, if you're gonna, if you want to try either of these, try them out both together because it is just a match made in heaven. Oh, finally we're picking up the glitter. <laughs> finally we're picking up the glitter. I just had to put the two yarns side by side. See how much glitter there's in that? It just, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. So, and then. We showed this beautiful high-end Bella Cashmere, Bella Cash. That reminds me of like, that would be like a rapper's name, Bella Cash. <laughs> if a rapper comes out and names herself Bella Cash, it's because I gave her the idea. So this has ca cashmere. It has fine merino super wash wool. It has nylon in it. This yarn is really, really lush, really lush. And for $3.99, can't beat it. And then to top the week off, we got some. How much did I pay for this? The fruit. The fruity fruit fruits. $5.99. I did not get this on sale, but that's all right. That's all right. $5.99 for this. You can get acrylic for $5.99 or you can get cashmere for $3.99. <laughs> the choice is yours. Or you can get some bamboo. Bamboo. The, um,. The sweet rolls is only 174 yards, so 5.99 for 100 grams and 174 yards is a little on the pricey side. So I'm gonna say wait for this to go on sale, but you can definitely pick this up because this is 273 yards for the same price. There you go. Make make more. Do more. <laughs> I had a lot of fun this week showing you guys the yarns. Thank you so much for tuning in and sticking with me this week. I know it's been a little bit crazy. Like, we were not expecting this. I actually was going to take the entire week off and not do any videos this week. But that is so out of my nature to not work. So I'm like, you know, I'm just going to I'm gonna make some yarn porn videos. We're going to have fun with it. We're going to show some yarns that I ordered. I'm going to break up one order into five videos, which is pretty cool. It was a smart idea on my part. <laughs> if I do say so myself. 
Um, but I really like playing with the yarn and showing you guys little swatches and samples and working that up. So you guys can get an idea of what is out there. What is on the market? What can you play with for a not... Some of these were really good prices. So, yeah. And then, of course, I have that beautiful yarn that I get to show you guys whenever I'm allowed to show you guys, which I'm super excited about. Are you guys excited? I know. Premier Yarns is making us all wait. It's driving me a little crazy. I need to know. I need to show. <laughs> so, thank you so much for... I'm not putting that back in my bag. They can go on the shelf. I got room. I got plenty of room on my shelves. Um... Thank you so much for watching this week and, and joining me for all of these beautiful, luscious yarn reviews. <laughs> it's like a week of piao! The whole week of it. Um, yeah. So that's it for today. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. I hope the weather is beautiful where you are and the sun is shining on you if that's what you like. Well, some people are more of rain dwellers. And they prefer to sit in the rain. So I hope that the weather is ideal for your location, for what you prefer. And you have a beautiful weekend. And um, hopefully I will be back Monday. Like I said, I got a lot going on over the next couple of weeks. And I don't know if all the videos are going to be available on time. Or I don't even know if I'm going to have time to finish making anything. Because I am going to be just running just crazy doing stuff <laughs> so there may not be another monday makes we just may come on and just talk yarn again i do have another yarn coming out like i said um in one of the videos this week premier yarns released um a, the premier puzzle yarn which is a bulky number five it is a a widely known yarn. It is the most accessible, easy to get yarn because it is available at lots of stores. Michaels has it. Um, Walmart has Premier Puzzle. They released the puzzle version in cotton. It's a cotton acrylic blend. And I cannot wait to get my hot little hands on that and show you guys that. So that will be coming up soon too. So if all else fails, we'll move PO to Monday if I don't have Monday content because sometimes, you know, <laughs> I can't make stuff. I'm working on a shawl right now and I'm struggling so hard to just work on it. And it's not that I don't like the yarn. I love the yarn. I'm just not in the mood, you know? I'm not in the mood. I don't want to make another shawl. I don't really want to make anything big. I just want to play and... <laughs> So I've been struggling with myself lately. So that's why this week was so perfect for me. Because I got to just sit and play with yarn. <laughs> Didn't have to make any. I made a coaster that I frogged. But, you know, you guys got a coaster tutorial. That was cool. I wasn't expecting that. I actually have a whole box of Premier yarns next to my feet that I get to play with. And some yarns from Premier. This is not from Premier. This is from AC Moore back in the day. That's what I'm making the shawl out of is this cotton colors from AC Moore. Not this specific cake. And the yarn is gorgeous. But I'm just not into the shawl right now at all. I think I need to make a pattern as, or small things. Because that's all my brain can handle right now because so much else is going on in life, you know? So, with that being said, I'm going to shut up now. I'm going to let you go about your day. Have a beautiful weekend. I will see you sometime next week. <laughs> Hopefully. And, um... Yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.